Here in Michigan, we're facing the worst housing crisis since the Great Depression. This is a state of emergency. People are losing their homes at record rates due to foreclosure, and other homeowners have seen their property values drop so much that they owe more in their mortgage than what their home is worth, and they can't find a buyer for it. So homeowners in Michigan are left with a terrible option, either abandon your property or, or be evicted. Mm -hmm. and, and that type of decision will destroy property values and destroy neighborhoods in Michigan. So here's what I propose. A, a two-year moratorium that will freeze all foreclosures in the state of Michigan. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm taking this type of emergency measure is because Michigan homeowners are in a state of emergency. They're either losing their home or they're losing the value of their home. But with more time, a borrower could get a second job. With more time, they could get their finances together. With more time, they could find a buyer to pay off their mortgage. You know, with more time, they could actually work out an agreement with their lender. Under my uh, freeze, which will be up to two years, uh, the judge will require the homeowner to actually make payments during that time. And they've got to be fair payments, fair to the borrower, but also fair to the person or company that loaned them the money in the first place. Also, I'm introducing legislation that will provide a guarantee on the mortgage payments. As a matter of fact, um, this would be a short-term loan that could actually pay off all of the delinquent mortgage payments that the borrower was not able to pay mm -hmm. that caused them to go into foreclosure in the first place. So the lender will be protected. But the best way to protect the lender is to have a homeowner and family live in a home as opposed to throwing the family out, boarding up the property, having that home stripped and vandalized. Then that lender is going to be stuck with a, with a home that they can't even sell. This way, they're going to have their asset protected and a Michigan family is going to be able to stay in their home.